okay students today we will be doing production of amplitude modulated wave for three marks amplitude modulation can be produced by a variety of methods conceptually a simple method is you as as shown in the block diagram now the mod let us have a modulating signal we have a modulating signal md which is a m sine omega m t is added to the carrier signal c t is equal to a c sine omega c t to produce the the signal x t x t is equal to a m sine omega m t plus a c sine omega c t this signal x t see m t and c t are added by a modulator this is the modulating signal this is the carrier they add up by an adder modulator to give a signal xt xt is am sin omega mt plus ac sin omega ct which is passed on through a square law device this signal xt is passed through a non linear square law device which produces an output yt this yt is a constant b into xt plus a constant c into xt ka whole square where b and c are constants now this is the block diagram of a simple modulator for obtaining an amplitude modulated signal now let us solve for this yt this yt comes out to be yt is b into am sin omega mt plus b ac sin omega ct plus c into am square sin square omega mt plus ac square sin square omega ct plus 2 times am ac sin omega mt sin omega ct okay now this again is written as it is quite a bit a long formula this becomes b am sin omega mt plus b ac sin omega ct plus this sin square omega mt is written as we can write it as c am square by 2 sin square is written as 1 minus cos 2 omega m t upon 2 plus this sin sin square becomes c ac square by 2 1 minus cos 2 omega ct upon 2 plus this 2 sin omega m sin omega t becomes c over here into am ac we applying the same formula 2 sin a sin b is equal to cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b it becomes cos omega c minus omega mt minus now c a m a c cos omega c plus omega m into t now let us write this down again after opening these brackets this becomes equal to b a m sin omega mt plus b ac sin omega ct plus c this into 1 and this into 1 are added c by 2 am square plus ac square minus this into this is c 
am square by 2 cos 2 omega mt minus c ac square by 2 cos square omega ct cos 2 omega ct sorry cos 2 omega ct plus this term and these two terms as they are c ac am cos omega c minus omega mt minus c ac am this one cos omega c plus omega m into t now this term this yt this whole yt is passed through a band pass filter this is passed this yt is passed through a band pass filter centered at omega c so when we have a band pass filter centered at omega c so it clears out frequencies like which are very near to omega c that it clears this term omega c minus omega t it clears and omega c plus omega m now it is not able to clear omega m as omega m is very small this is not able to <coughs> clear 2 omega c at it is very large and it is not able to clear 2 omega m it is very small and this is the dc term this is the dc term all other are the ac terms so when this is passed through a band pass filter only these three terms 1 2 and 3 terms come out so this becomes yt is b a c sin omega c t plus c a c a m cos omega c minus omega m t minus c a c a m cos omega c plus omega m t these three terms constitute the amplitude modulated wave okay now this was the production of an amplitude modulated wave after this this amplitude modulated wave is transmitted now in transmitter what happens is let us see what is a transmitter it is to be mentioned that the modulated signal cannot be transmitted as such the modulator is to be followed by a power amplifier which provides the necessary power and then the modulated signal is fed to an antenna of appropriate size size for radiation okay now this is the block diagram of a transmitter now what a transmitter does is the message signal having omega c omega c plus omega m upper side band and lower side band omega c minus omega m is fed <coughs> to a power amplifier and then to a suitable size antenna for transmitting from here the amplitude modulated wave is transmitted this is the amplitude modulated wave which we studied earlier this is transmitted the, the earlier diagram which we had was an amplitude modulator from one side message signal comes and from the other the carrier comes next we have is detection of amplitude modulated wave okay now now we have detection of amplitude modulated wave the transmitted message gets attenuated in propagating through the channel when it la covers large distances it gets attenuated now the receiving antenna is therefore to be followed by an amplifier and a detector this is the receiving antenna this receiving antenna receives an attenuated receive signal this is the received signal then it has to be amplified again so we use an amplifier one this is amplifier one then we have an intermediate frequency stage if stage because 
for large frequencies we need need large equipments for small frequencies we need small equipments thereafter we have a detector which detects the message signal which is very weak then we have an we have an amplifier too which reamplifies it and gives it to the output transducer output transducers like a speaker or a monitor or anything like that this is the block diagram of a receiver in addition to facilitate further processing the carrier frequency is usually changed to a lower frequency by what is called as an intermediate frequency stage this is the intermediate frequency stage which is before the detection the detected signal may not be as strong as to be made use of and hence it is required to be amplified so we use another amplifier amplifier 2 now the detection stage is very important now how the detection happens is detection is the process of recovering the modulating signal from the modulated carrier wave we had a modulated carrier wave cmt and we have to recover the modulating signal mt which was something like this now we just saw that the modulated carrier wave contains the frequencies omega c and omega c plus minus omega m the lower side band and the upper side band in order to obtain the original message signal mt of angular frequency omega m a simple method is uh, is shown in the form of a block diagram now here is the amplitude modulated wave which we had earlier drawn like this we had the amplitude modulated wave this is the amplitude modulated wave which was like this we use a rectifier mostly or as simply as a diode was a rectifier so the diode is going to cut it from here so the only the upper side of the amplitude modulated wave remains now then we have an envelope detector an envelope detector can be used as a capacitor can be used and then we can have a resistance the capacitor is going to offer an impedance or a reactance of 1 upon x is 1 upon c omega when omega is high that is for a carrier frequency omega c is high so x c for carrier frequencies is low so all the all the omega c's are grounded by the capacitor later on in the envelope detector what we have is we have a load resistance that can be a speaker or anything like that so what we maintain is we get a message signal mt this is the message signal mt which was over here only an envelope so this resistance is and the capacitance are called as envelope detector this is the block diagram of a detector for amplitude modulated signal okay the quantity on y axis can be current or voltage we can vary current or voltage with respect to time t hence what we had spoken earlier the message signal was transferred and over here the message signal is received
tips to get 98% marks in physics. Always note the video in a copy. Again and again till you succeed. This new video is 100% classroom teaching as in your school. All details are covered for your needs. For any more solutions to your queries, send slash give comments, feedback, likes and response by subscribing. Make it better to find IT better next time. Subscribe if not subscribe till now so that you become the first one to watch the next video. Click on the four connecting videos to complete the whole chapter.